I definitely mm-hmm. like what you guys said earlier on about um you know it's it's basically people having enough capital to put products into stores and things like that mm-hmm. um you know I just firmly believe what you don't know is what you don't know so to speak so it's like a lot of people that have their companies and and or CMOS in general is like it's a domino effect and a simple thing as as it looking like it can be something very positive can turn out to be the total opposite mm-hmm. you know as far as like um you know for example I, I know you guys earlier was talking about i guess the gentleman that um uh what is that alexio. What is company yeah Le- alexio yeah. so to speak the transformation you know, having, factory right right and is having products and having products in stores is going to be great as far as cmos is just the aspect of that the cmos if it's a cmos gel the gel is going to is going to is not going to be the same gel as we would sell online because you're not going to be able to get that gel to be as natural as it needs to be without adding additives and preservatives and then it wouldn't be so to speak the cmos gel that people are selling you know i, I know there's a lot of companies that that don't sell cmos gel and they only stick with dried mm-hmm. um so kind of like a do it yourself project for a lot of people in the commercial industry um but if you're looking at like gels and the cap capsules and things like that mm-hmm. then you know other businesses and other people have to realize especially in the caribbean islands where most people are getting their cmos from which is you know saint lucia and also jamaica and stuff as well is that they have to realize that when it comes to the cmos powder itself there's other there's other islands and there's other countries that is producing a quality cmos for a lot less and these are when you have investments and you're trying to produce product into the market you're not going to go and be and paying x amount of money for you know cmos powder from these from these farmers that, that are converting their stuff or people from over here that's converting their stuff at a certain rate you know especially if you're especially if you're trying to put your product in stores you know so is is a lot of domino effect that can happen cuz you're looking at let's say if a gel is uh they want to purchase 100,000 units we're just throwing out numbers not mm-hmm. saying anything is you know solid 100,000 units um, which is let's say three dollars a jar, you mm-hmm. know, for for a hundred thousand units, which gives you three hundred some thousand dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. So from, from from that aspect, how much how much sea moss, dry sea moss, do you actually really need to produce a hundred thousand jars? You don't even need a thousand pounds. You don't even need five hundred pounds of sea moss. And then how much sea moss the ratio is is actually going to be in mm-hmm. there? So they're going to expand it and stretch it, but still give you the vi- the minerals and, and that that the sea moss can contain, even if it's half of the ninety two minerals that people are claiming that sea moss have, mm-hmm. is still better than any other product you're going to get in a whole food market, mm-hmm. regardless exactly. of what. Yeah. So now what is going to happen is that, and what is happening now, as we all can see, is that people are converting their dried sea moss into different segments, different market segments. You know, we have our soaps, we have our body butters. We have our caps. We have all this type of stuff. So now, as people are exploring different market segments when it comes to sea moss, brings down how much actual dry sea moss you need mm-hmm. as a, as a per, as a business is concerned. So that is where the the, the marketing for sea moss has to be in a way where we as quote unquote controllers of the industry or you guys, you know, whoever, you know, whoever think that top dog, so to speak, um, those people are the controllers of the industry they would have to market all aspects of sea moss and market the dried sea moss where people can convert into gel. If not, you're going to be in a position where now farmers are going to realize that they're, they, they're not making as much money as before because now pe- people buying two, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand pounds. And now those same customers that got a big investment are buying 200 pounds mm-hmm. because they, they learned now they have business advisors to advise them on how to actually go about using their actual product. So that's why it's a very dangerous field.